All right, so this is how I start a painting. I have the photograph that I'm going to use, and I take a lot of photographs. I do my own photography. And what I'm trying to capture in this photograph is the different scales of the objects, like the rocks, and then we have more pebble rocks. I'm trying to capture the different textures, the smooth water, the jagged rocks, the sense of cool that one gets from the color of the water and this very, like, very uh, shallow tide pool. Compositionally, I like the way that the, sh the waves are going to the left, which will speed up the information, the composition, and make it look as though it's always, the, the waves are, are, any minute now, they're going to crash to shore. I love the vista, how it goes way back into space. And I love the palette. We have greens, oranges, yellows, golds, blues, browns, and a little bit of green back here, which I can pull the colors around. And I love the composition, the square. And then we have like a circular information within the square, how all this is connecting. So what I'm gonna do is I, I took this photograph and I printed it out in black and white and at 40 inches by 40 inches, which is what the final painting is going to be. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out areas of the, this photograph and cut them so that they're blank. So what I'm doing is I'm, this is the tracing paper, it's just carbon paper, and you know, I just turn it over and I put the black and white photograph over it. And then I just keep tracing. And this will just give me an outline of the image so that when I remove the paper, I have a good idea of where I need to start applying the color. So here's what it looks like once the tracing paper is removed. So that concludes the first week of working on the painting. And in my next newsletter, I will show how I apply the color to the background layers of the painting.